Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji and we created this 5 feet uh, family. Uh, first I'm going to make a save as. This is going to be a custom family. So it's a custom door, which means it can work in any size and dimensions. Uh, so before we start, actually, I forgot to adjust the height here. So these are the three panels that we imported into this family. I want to align them here and lock them. So align here and here, and I want to lock this. Next one, align here and here. I want to lock this and align and this is the last panel and we can lock it right so now they're all locked uh, to the top edge uh, everything looks good uh, as you remember we have one screen here if I put this on shaded and one fixed panel and one movable panel here right so what I want to do is that I want to make it in a way that it's gonna actually be custom so by changing uh, the height and width of the structure the height and width of the uh, three panels also change because right now if I change this let's say if it's like 100 or well, let's say 150 and this one is like uh, oh for the height let's go excuse me 400 here and 150 here these are not going to change only the structure is going to change so we need to relate them to each other so uh, how about I select one of these items which one is this this is the panel I'm gonna start maybe by the screen here so this is a door screen if I go to edit type uh, you see that no parameters show here right so this is something I wanted to show you uh, this is edit type so if I go to edit family for this screen and if I go to parameters uh, if I go to modify this is defined as an instance the difference between instance and type is that whatever is defined as a type is going to show in the type properties so I need to change these two by going to modify and make sure they are on type so they're going to show in type uh, properties so now if I load this into project override existing this is the screen if I go to edit type because they are defined as type we can see them here if they are defined as instance it's not going to show here right so that's one thing um, now we see that we have only two parameters here height and width uh, I want to select the screen go to edit type and see what's going on here if this is a five feet door if the height is 80 and 3 eighths for the screen it's just um, 2 and 3 eighths less than this one and it's the same for the other doors right so if I define the height of the screen as the height minus 2 and 3 eighths of an inch is gonna work well also this name should be height of the screen and width of the screen so I need to actually change this in family again so I'm gonna go to edit family go to parameters click here and we can go to uh, edit from here and I'm gonna change this to height of the screen and select this one edit and it should be width of the screen so you need to change it here you cannot do it over there it should be in the family that's uh, created at first so make sure to go with overwrite yes so now we are good here I want to select this go to edit type height of screen with the screen the name is correct and I want to click here associate family parameter and what do I want to do I want to actually define a new parameter here and I want to name it as um, height of the screen or the screen height let's go with a screen underline height I'm gonna leave it as type so when we import it into the Revit project it's a type thing so screen height okay and I want to say okay here now I want to say OK. Now you see actually this is grayed out so we cannot control it from here. How can we change it? We need to go to the family types here and the screen height is added here. So the rest is simple. We just need to put height 
minus 2 and 3 eighths, which is 3, 7, 5. So I'm going to hit apply. OK. I select the screen, go to edit type. Same thing, we need to create a, uh, a parameter here. I want to make a new one. It's going to be screen underline width. A type thing, that's good. OK. So this is also grayed out, which means it's working correctly. Back to family types table. And the width, if this is a 5 feet, which means it's about 60 inches, is this number plus half, so it's 60 inches, divided by 2, plus 3 fourths of an inch, which is 30 and 3 fourths of an inch. And if it's the same pattern for the rest of them, so I'm going to go here. So this width is, um, the width, the screen width is parentheses width plus 0.5 so it's going to be 60 divided by 2 and then plus 0.75 so 60 divided by 2 plus uh, 0.75 that looks good apply ok now how does it work if I go here let's say if I change this to the next item which is 71 and a half I should get these two numbers for the height and width of the panel so I want to go with 71 and a half to try this for the width of the panel if it's 71 and a half you see that that panel uh, now also changed so that is correct so I'm going to change this back to 59 apply OK and we need to do this with the panel we also have two panels here so if I go to edit type again you don't see this as a type so I need to go to edit family make sure that the two parameters that are defined here are defined as type so they show in the edit type menu that's why you see when I change this to type the default thing is also removed from the name that's how quickly you can understand whether it's type or instance. OK, load this into project and uh, we can close it into door custom. Yes. And I want to save this. Yes. Yes, replace it. And over right here. Yes. So if I select this now in the edit type, you will see the two items. And again, we're going to define these as two associate family parameters so I want to define a new one this first one is going to be the panel height panel underline height type OK and OK and the second one is going to be panel underline width and that's all good OK OK and OK now if we go here we can see the two parameters are added here for panel height and panel width we just need to find the relationship between the panel height and the height so for the panel height I need to see the difference between these two height here 80 and 3 eighths minus 78 and 1 eighths so it's uh, 80 and 3 eighths minus 78 and 1 8 which is 1 2 5 so it's 2.25 so the height of this is that height uh, minus uh, 2.25 I'm going to go here assign height minus 2.25 the height is here this only reduces 2 and uh, a quarter of an inch and it's going to assign it to the panel height apply OK uh, we should go back, do it for the width. Let's check the width. For the width of the panel, it's again 60, which means this number plus half, divided by 2 plus 3, 6, 16, which is 0 0.1875. So let's do that. I'm going to have a parenthesis width plus 0.5 divided by 2 plus 1 sixteenth which is 0 0.1875 I guess actually I need to put a zero here that looks good now apply and OK if I change the height and width everything should change accordingly so let me change the height to like 120 inches just to try and change the width to 
like uh, let me change it to something from here 95 and a half so I want to go with 95 and a half okay now you see everything changed accordingly um, so if I go here uh, you see everything is working well